Time now to head over to the kitchen for the first time and check in with ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher and see what's cooking for today. Hi, Judy. Hi there, Scott. Well, get ready for a little decadence because we are doing a tortellini bake. Now, being a grandma myself, I know that the little ones probably prefer just tomato sauce, maybe a little mozzarella cheese, and that's what's great. You can do that with some cheese tortellini and set that aside. But for the adults that really want something decadent, I'm going to make two versions, one with pancetta and sauteed mushrooms and bring it up with some fontina cheese and the other one using leftover roast chicken. We're always wondering what to do. Well, now we can do it with some great luscious cheeses. I think you're going to have a lot of fun. No calorie counting today. I'll be back in just a few minutes to get started. Let's get back to the kitchen now and see how lunch is coming along with Chef Judy Gallagher. Judy? Oh, Scott, already the aromas are great because we have the leeks that are sauteing in butter, and it, that is French butter. We're going to bring all this to a good richness. If you're going to cheat, cheat big, folks. So we're going to just deglaze with just a little bit of white wine, maybe a third of a cup at the very most. I have salt and pepper in the leeks. So I'm going to let that reduce down a little bit, lower the heat, and now let's start on the other tortellini bake. So you have some sliced button mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms. I love shiitake mushrooms. They're so tender. We're going to take some fresh thyme from the garden. Thyme's really easy to grow yourself. Just keep it in the shade from the hard part of the day. The morning light is really nice for it and it really will, will give you an abundant amount and I do cook with a lot. So you hold it and you pull it away always downward and that goes right in and if you just notice the stock gets in there you can pull it out later. With mushrooms, we can go ahead and add the black pepper. We don't want to use the salt yet because it takes all the liquid out of the mushrooms, and that may be too runny. So let's go back to these leeks. Oh, my gosh. Just right now, the way it smells is just nirvana. I had some leftover roast chicken. You don't have to do this, but it's a great way to use up something in your refrigerator. Oftentimes, if I have a little roast chicken, I'll just put it in a sealer bag in the freezer and mark it, and somewhere within the next week or two, I'll make a dish like this. Now, just about any cheese tortellini will work. This one I particularly like. This is La, La Piana brand, and I get it over at Fresh Market. It's imported, and it's on sale this week, so even better, right? Okay, so we have the roast chicken in with the leeks. Now, as the mushrooms start to go, I'm going to add some shallots to give that that depth of flavor as well. There we go. I'm really give that a stir. And then we're going to have some pancetta. I already cooked the pancetta a little while ago. That is the Italian bacon. It's really going to bring up that flavor. While this sautés and the leeks are really coming together, we're going to use about a half a package of frozen spinach, depending on how much you're making. Since I'm going to make two different types of tortellini, I only need a half a pack. Unthawed and squeeze, get out that excess so it doesn't make a watery dish. When I come back, we're going to grate some cheese and goodness and get it in the oven to get all bubbly, so come back soon. Let's get back to the kitchen now and see how lunch is coming with Judy Gallagher. Hi, Judy. Well, I hope it's something decadent like we're celebrating with. So, we have the mushrooms, pancetta, and herbs all sautéed in the butter, and then I have the leftover roast chicken and leeks and spinach in this. Now I'm going to take one container of mascarpone, which is the Italian cream cheese, I'm going to take a little half and half to cut that down. Give it a little stir. Whenever you need moisture in these dishes, you can also keep some vegetable broth or chicken broth, and that will just give it a little more flavor and moisture. So I have the chicken and the leeks already in the bowl, so I can go ahead and put this in, and that's what I mean. It is really going to be rich. So it's going to be creamy and saucy and so good. Now, another thing to do with tortellini is, yeah, I have a few left. Put them in soup. It just adds a little richness, a little more fullness in something like a chicken soup, so it makes it more like a casserole. So we're going to take part of the tortellini, and it's going to go in with the chicken, and the other is going to go in with the mushrooms. Now you can add the salt to the mushrooms because they're sautéed, so we're not going to get that extra liquid in there. Now, you know, 
when I get to the bottom of my dish and there isn't some crusty cheese, I get all bummed out. It's always on the top, right? So put some on the bottom, and as it bakes, that part, that heat is going to rise and get that as ooey and gooey as possible. So let's start to put this right in, or you, you know, if this were an oven-proof bowl, you can bake it right in the bowl. But I have a Le Creuset all ready to go. Good size for two to three people. Now we're going to top it off with some Fontina and some Gruyere cheese. Okay, so the Fontina is going to be the softer, almost like a mozzarella. And then we're going to take some grated Gruyere. And that's perfect, right? That's going in the oven just as it is. Now, for the second batch, all we have to do, I'll move that out of the way so you can see it better, is we have the mushrooms, the pancetta, and we are going to go ahead and we're going to do some Swiss cheese on this. Or you can do what, you know, you can honestly do whatever cheeses you want, but I'm going to do some Swiss cheese on this, put it in the oven. When we come back, I have to tell you, Scalzi's already had a bite, but I'll let him have another. Stay with us. We'll come back for lunch in just a few minutes. It's hot. I, it, is, it is hot. Mm. And it's really decadent. What do you think? Oh, it's delicious. Oh, see, That's and delicious. when an Italian man tells mm. you your tortellini is delicious, you're feeling really good. And off camera, we got Chef Joe DiMaggio oh. here. So now, now I'm man. really nervous whether he's going to try that or not. But John, both types, we have the one with the chicken and the caramelized leeks and the mascarpone cheese. Then we have the delicious sauteed mm. mushrooms, a little thyme. Get in that pancetta and, you know, Gruyere, Swiss, and then you have to go light. So just uh, honestly, I had a butter lettuce with lemon, salt, and pepper, and oil, and you're done. Clearly, totally decadent, but <laughs> worth every bite. MySuncoast.com, click on the dining link page. All the information will be there. Judy, thanks. This is fantastic. And get ready to win a gift card to one of our local restaurants. So sign up for our newsletter. Scott, back to you.